It's all about control with you. I don't control the Raptors. It's a relationship. It's based on mutual respect. That's why you and I have never had a second date. Here's your look, guys, at the new Mattel Jurassic World Attack Pack. This is Velociraptor Delta. Delta comes included with a collector's card. And if you want more 411 on this Velociraptor, you can pull it up on your Jurassic World Fax app, which is currently available. First thing we're gonna do is figure out how big Velociraptor Delta is. Now I'm gonna take the tape measure and it's gonna go right to the very tip of her nose and put it to the very tip of her tail. We'll stop the tape measure right there. That's as good of a place as any. From snout to tail, you're looking at a dinosaur 6.6 .6 inches in height or length. Switching that to centimeters, I can certainly do that for you as well. 16.8 centimeters. I'm sure somebody will also ask, can you do that in the height of the figure as well? Well, I can certainly more than happy to oblige the mob. Taking the tape measure, the Ultra Measure Tron 5000 to the very top of her head. You're looking at the dinosaur now height-wise, 3.9 inches, about 4 inches in height. Which in centimeters works out once again to being 9.9, 9.9, 9 .9 centimeters tall. Before we proceed, I certainly want to give a big thank you to viewer Bill, who was nice enough to send this, along with a whole slew of new Jurassic World goodies. Thank you, Bill. Thank you very much. The first thing we're going to have a look at, though, is the collector's card that comes included with Velociraptor Delta. Now, unfortunately, they do tape these to the back of the card insert, so when you are taking this out of the clamshell, just be careful you don't rip that off. You would hate to damage both the front or the back. Certainly the stat side of the card, you don't want that to get ripped and damaged. Luckily, no damage here. The Velociraptor Delta listed on the top left corner, followed by some series of stats. Strength-wise, only at 7 out of a possible 10. Speed, no surprise at all, is 9 out of 10. Uh, brain, very something worrisome if you were to confront a raptor in real life. Let's hope we science and curiosity doesn't take us to that point in our lives. The raptor would clearly outsmart most of us. I'm also throwing myself in that comparison. And uh, ferocity, you're looking at nine. So there's a lot of stuff working against you. If you think that you could make this a domesticated raptor like you see in the movies, it just, it, it's just, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. You're not gonna go play fetch with it. It's gonna mangle you and kill likely everybody you care about. I just wanna remind you guys, science is fun, dinosaurs are fun, but really at the end of the day, these things will devour you. Let's proceed with this review. Uh, having a look at Velociraptor Delta, clearly it does look like it's a case where they've reused the mold from blue. It certainly does look like it's the same mold that was sporting for blue here though done in an almost olive colored green i'm feeling compelled right now to try to balance delta onto my fingers i don't know why i'm needing to do that there really isn't a whole lot of paint to speak of the paint i suppose what they ended up choosing is a kind of a nice combination of blues and greens but there really again there isn't a whole lot happening right here for paint We'll start kind of working our way with the head first, and then we'll kind of work our way down until eventually we get to the tail. I will tell you though, I don't want to ruin the end of this movie, but there's not really a whole lot exciting happening to the end of the tail. Oh, I just gave it away. Oh, I just gave it away. Having a look at the head sculpt though, again, very much nice head sculpt, even if this is a reuse to an existing dinosaur we already have in our collection. The tongue, as well as the inside of the mouth, are painted nicely in pink. Bit of a jarring, unfortunate line there where you can see that if you close the mouth to a certain place, the pink carries all the way to the back of the mouth. You can see it right there. When you do open the mouth slightly further, well, we also have this big circular piece right there, but you also notice, unfortunately, unfinished paint right at the back there. Wish that they could have just gone in there knowing that most people will probably want to... <laughs> not special effects I did that with my mouth uh, would have loved if this could have also been finished I was, I'm sure most people would probably want to see that finished 
little tendons also on the side of the mouth. Looked like they probably could have afforded some additional pink right there. That sort of got left out. At the very least though, teeth, check. Tongue, check. Eyeballs, check. At least the main requirements were all checked off the list here. As you can see, the eyeball has been done. Probably just again, a single coat of paint. Maybe a second coat would have gone a little bit further. And it also looks as if they're probably utilizing the same blue that makes up the side of uh, her face and the same printing that runs down the spine. Unfortunately, Claws gets omitted the black nail polish treatment as well as the bottom feet also get omitted. Ooh, I almost dropped it, I almost dropped it. Uh, the body is made up of, comprised of a very dense plastic, while the legs, as you can probably see here, soft rubber, soft rubbery plastic also for the hands. I do like the sculpt. I've always been a big fan of this particular mold. I probably, again, will go likely in there with uh, some additional paint, just kind of clean this up a bit. At the very least, I would definitely want to paint off the nails and paint off the nails in both places because I really do think that it finishes it off. Sort of leaving that just off all in its entirety. I mean, I can't help but look at it. I'm sure you can't help but look at it. It definitely does feel unfinished. What isn't unfinished, luckily, is the Fax app QR code. Scanning that with your phone, I'll do that in a moment, you'll be able to open up Velociraptor Delta. Now, I don't know if it will say specifically, I'm asking questions that will eventually lead to an answer. I just have to like wait it out. I wonder though if the app will tell us Velociraptor Delta or if it will just open up yet another Velociraptor. Stay tuned. On the other foot though, we've got the traditional Jurassic Park stamped impression, if you get the impression right there. Uh, again, very much a tried and true go-to dinosaur. Um, I believe this has been now used twice, possibly even more. Um, but again, the mold works well. If you know, stick with what works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Isn't that what they say? And uh, certainly this mold is not broken. Paint might be slightly omitted, but at the very least, it's definitely not broken. So let's have a look at this dinosaur. We'll just bring the camera back a little bit. Bring, look, look at the dinosaur's articulation. While the mouth does open and close, unfortunately do experiencing some sense of unfinished business there on the interior of the mouth. The hands rotate back and forth or the claws rotate all the way around on the arms. There we go. And uh, for some reason, I, I notice when you bring the arm this way, it wants to start moving backwards all on its own control. Ghost present in this reviewing area, possibly. It's not something I really like to give much thought to. Uh, but the arms rotate all the way around. Legs hinge back and forth. They swivel, they should swivel. They should swivel. Uh, there is a little cut right there, but I can't actually get the foot to swivel. Unless they molded it shut. I don't know why they would have necessarily done that. Uh, and then also the tail. The tail should have a swiveling point as well. I'm basing this solely off of the review of blue. And yet, it seems like the cut on the tail and the cut on the feet are almost non-existent. It's almost like they just trimmed off that. Unless I'm just creating scenarios that weren't there. Maybe Blue never had swiveling on the feet. I'm certain there's the cuts right there. The proof is in the cuts. Isn't that what they say? Pudding? Yeah, okay, so it's maybe pudding. Either way, I can't be too hung up on that because really, the dinosaur only stands a certain way. Moving the tail, moving the feet, hands, it's not so much an issue. Not really much an issue there. But moving the feet, anything past this point, guarantees that the dinosaur is sadly gonna fall over. I don't want that, so I'm gonna obey the molding, the way that the molding has dictated me to display the dinosaur, and I'll just leave it at that. What I'm certainly not gonna leave, though, is scanning the QR code for Velociraptor Delta. I'm curious. I wanna know if it's gonna open up as a Velociraptor, or specifically, Delta. So I'm gonna go into the scan portion. I wanna also mention that lately, the last few times that I've used this, these little buttons on the bottom, I don't know if this app is requiring an update, but the buttons on the bottom are a little harder and they're not as responsive as they were before. Needless to say, this reviewer is gonna scan the QR code, the dinosaur code, if you will, and let's see if it's Velociraptor Delta. 
Well, it isn't Delta necessarily. We do now have the Dino Rivals banner around the top section there, and it's just listed as Velociraptor. In fact, actually at the top there, it says Velociraptor one of eight. Let's go in and find out some more stats on the Delta here. Now this one we already have opened. In the film, she's responsible for the death of Vic Hoskins. Hoskins. The ones we still have to check out though is when Blue is seemingly killed, Delta is the first to attack Adominus Rex. Probably why a lot of people remember Delta so much. And last but certainly not least, in the film, she is the second Velociraptor created by Injun. There you go. Uh, like I said though, going into collection, I find like these buttons, as you can, they're not the most responsive. I'm wondering, I hopefully don't have to reinstall the program. It's sort of where we've left off. Got many of the Jurassic World dinosaurs. There are a few that I unfortunately still have not scanned through. Uh, here is the very barren wasteland of dino rivals. Yes, there's still a fair bit that I have to go through and catch up on. But those certainly will come, hopefully, in future reviews. Introduced in the original Jurassic Park film, but not really given full personality until Jurassic World. All the raptors that were featured in Jurassic World had like unique traits to them. The real standouts, obviously, are Blue and Delta here. I'm thrilled for the fact that we finally get ourselves a Delta. feel like we did get one before, but again, memory as it is, as you get a little bit older, there's things that you certainly forget. I certainly don't remember reviewing a Delta. I know there was kind of just Velociraptor, and of course there was Blue. Delta we can now add to the mix. Still a nice looking dinosaur, even though really it's making use of an existing mold that we've gotten at least from, as far as I know, two times before. It's got some great coloring. Of course, like I'm digging the green and the blue. Sort of seems like something that we would get from the original Beast Wars line. Really digging the color choices that they went with here. Still feel as if like the legs and the tail sacrifice something in the way of articulation that the previous raptors actually possessed. The tongue unfortunately feels a little unfinished if you have the mouth fully open, but I probably will just end up displaying Delta here with the mouth closed because again, I just love the look of it. These dinosaurs are fairly affordable if you are looking to pick them up in retail stores like the smaller attack pack dinosaurs are under $10, so you can't beat that. Again, a big thank you to viewer Bill, who was nice enough to send this one my way. Today we were having a look at the Jurassic World, this was the Dino Rivals, Velociraptor Delta. Really nice looking dinosaur. If you guys want to go back and have a look at not only my other Jurassic World, but also Jurassic Park reviews, there's playlists for both. Also, if you're new to this channel and haven't done so already and kind of afraid to admit it, you don't have to admit it, hit that little subscribe button down below. Make sure you also hit that bell notification and future videos will be coming soon to this channel. Future as quick as probably today, the same day that you're watching this video, or even the next day. Regularly, I post content to this channel. Long-time subscribers will probably be able to attest to that. Here's a guy, I'm a guy, that posts a lot of videos on this channel. So make sure you hit that little subscribe button. You don't want to miss out on anything that's coming up to this channel. Thanks for watching, as you always do, guys. And uh, certainly stay tuned. More videos are coming your way. I'll see you guys next time.